But then let's get to our main topic of tonight. When elections are done, there are usually reactions to the conduct and the role played by major stakeholders in the process. The Nigerian police have come under intense scrutiny over its role in the last few elections. This time around, members of the civil society situation room are raising serious concern over what they describe as police partisanship during elections. They say if left unchecked, they believe it will impact negatively on the credibility of the 2019 elections. Take a listen to what their uh, convener said yesterday. We are calling on the police especially to pull back from what is very obvious indications of partisanship ahead of 2019 elections. If they don't, the credibility of what all of us have been working on, whether it is INEC or civil society or indeed every other stakeholder in the election, the credibility of it will be in question. So you heard it. So we're preparing for the 2019 elections. No one wants an election that has a tainted credibility. The police has also an image and credibility to protect, isn't it? Let's get talking, everyone. Our panel tonight on the program is a spokesperson of the Nigerian Police Force. Mr. G. Momoshu joins us from our Abuja studio. And side by side with him is a member of the uh, civil society elections. In fact, uh, a co-convener of that group, Mr. Eze. Nwago is also the Director of Partners for Electoral Reforms. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming on the program. Let me begin with you, because uh, your group is uh, concerned, Mr. Nwago, about the role of the Nigerian police beyond what main opposition, because the opposition party, PDP, is also talking. They're not happy with some of the things that are happening. What top most is the topmost uh, fear that you have ahead of the elections concerning the role of the police. Well, thank you, Shehu. I'm not a co-convener of the situation room. Uh, Clement Wampo is the convener. I am chairman partners for electoral reform. Um, um, having said that, it's important to say, even if we ignore the, uh, the, you know, the conversation coming out from the opposition, uh, the police has a perception image that it needs to deal with. Uh, just backtrack to the recently concluded uh, by-election in Bauchi State. Um, if the reports of our observers, were, uh, watching the vote observers, were clear in pointing to the fact that um, the citizens didn't feel safe, uh, didn't feel safe enough to cast their votes. There were reported cases of uh, intimidation by security. In fact, in a particular polling unit, uh, a, a policeman came into the place with, uh, with uh, um, what do you call it, with arms, you know, and uh, armed really. And you know that that is uh, against uh, the the electoral act. You you are not supposed to have an, an uh, armed policeman within the polling unit. And then it revert back a bit again to Oshun two the second issue, you would also uh, notice that all the election observer reports, media reports pointed to the fact that uh, the police did not really um, uh, come out in, in the very professional manner we expected them to. And what civil society is doing is to call attention to the fact that we want a police that is not diminished by partisanship, that is not diminished by perception of um, deciding the dominant group at any point in time. And that, for us, is the, the main concern. And if we go into 2019 with these deep concerns about the role of security, uh, the impartiality of the security, and their lack of independence, then 2019 would be uh, in peril if we, if we don't do anything about that now. Let's get the Nigerian police to react to this. Uh, these are very strong allegations being made about the integrity of the force and the role of your men on the ground during the elections. Is the force aware that some of your men may not have done the right things during elections? Are you afraid? Are you concerned about some of these perception issues? Uh, thank you so much. I want to first of all start saying that uh, we don't work on uh, assumptions. Uh, perception of the general police force is very good in the minds of the public because we've been working on this. And uh, all the elections that have been held uh, from uh, the uh, gubernatorial election in Edo, 
uh, to that of Omdo to Anombra to Ekicham, but we still done our best in ensuring that there's a secure environment uh, for elections to be held and the election were peaceful too. Though there are instances where you have two or uh, one or two incidents that have been addressed uh, properly. Uh, we know the situation rooms, uh, uh, CSO, uh, we've been working with them and they are very close to us. I would so much believe that if they have observed anything, uh, we go to work with it and be able to uh, look at uh, what they have observed. But as we speak, uh, the cases that are mentioned here as regards uh, the recent ele election, Eddie Bauchi, we don't have it on record that a police personnel went uh, to the police unit with firearms because police personnel that are deployed to a police unit are not bearing firearms. Uh, no doubt that we have other intervention uh, uh, police team are not far away from the polling unit, at least at the designated uh, uh, distance by INEC uh, to ensure that Woodlum does not uh, take advantage and uh, uh, disrupt election in the polling unit. So uh, by and large, uh, if they are talking of perception, I think we are doing our best and uh, the Nigerians are there to judge us. Uh, the issue uh, equally mentioned in Oshun State, uh, Oshun State, a lot of uh, international and local NGO have equally commended the Nigerian police for putting in the best. But uh, we are going beyond this uh, to equally uh, look down at uh, uh, the achievement that we have recorded in this election and to look to improve on it. And that's why we quickly, uh, the Inspector General of Police quickly directed that uh, the Commissioner of Police and the Inspector General of Police across the Federation to start meeting with the fiscal stakeholder. We have uh, what we call the Interagency Consultative Commission on Election Security, which I is equally uh, uh, a stakeholder there. The, in, in each state, the Commissioner of Police, the Chairman, while the INEC uh, rest is the co-chair. But uh, the Situation Room uh, uh, CSO, the PLAC, uh, we've been working together for longer. We expected that, uh, we expect them that in situation whereby such uh, a violation are noticed, they brought it to our knowledge, they, they bring it to our knowledge so that it can be addressed promptly. But uh, we, uh, in the 2019 general election, we want all Nigerians uh, to feel safe. The Nigerian police force is apolitical. Uh, we don't belong to any political party. All we are doing is to ensure that election uh, comes and uh, uh, is held under a free and fair uh, atmosphere. Uh, we will go beyond this by equally organizing another meeting uh, with uh, the PLAC and other critical stakeholders. We have been meeting with them on a regular basis and we have been fine tuning uh, our cooperation and area of, uh, of collaboration are equally being worked out. Uh, that does not mean that. Uh, where police officers are identified to have violated the process, we don't deal with such an officer. All right, maybe we should go to a more, a more specific situation. Mr. Eisen the, the, the PPROs, uh, they have done their best in the job. If you perhaps are more specific in some of the areas, so this is a corrected because the fears you raise is that these should not go into 2019 since we have the PPRO there. If you raise perhaps more specific situation, Maybe this will help. Well, I, I think one of the bigger challenges we have will be um, not to live in denial. And um, I always think, and civil society believes that it is important that um, our cooperation with the police is intensified. Uh, the Office of the Inspector General of Police is a little bit more open uh, so that this uh, kind of issues uh, can be sorted out without necessarily. But the reality is that the, 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 the perception, uh, not just perception, even reality, take, for instance, in most states uh, where you had political parties telling you that they took their materials for primaries, where for the conduct of primaries that they went to drop their materials at the, the office of the commissioner of police. What in the world is the business of the commissioner of police with the conduct of uh, the party primary of a political party. I think that if we begin to live in denial, we're not able to confront the issues that face us on a daily basis. So Nigerians want a clean election. Nigerians want the police to understand that election is a civil matter and that it needs to civilize its operations. It needs to create that environment where citizens can feel safe, that they are not, um, they are not partial and that they are not siding any political party. And in do, that is not difficult to do. It is simply that All ability right. to win themselves away from, you know, 
the okay. tools and the, the, the stranglehold of politicians, dominant groups. Okay. It, it's important that the police come to terms with citizens. Let, let me pause you. Uh, sorry, sorry if I'm a button. Let me pause you for a moment and let's take this break. And when we return, there are more other uh, there are more issues that are being raised and concerns by political parties and non-partisan groups. We will discuss that as related to security and elections. We we'll take a break and we'll be back, everyone. Join us. Thank you.